I hope this is our line moving forward. I'm not naive enough to believe that it definitely is going to be. Um, you know, we'd like to get Boone back in the lineup. Boone struggled with injuries. He, he's another guy, whether it's Boone or Ike, I, I think this has to be mentioned too. Uh, this isn't always appreciated from the outside. Nobody's had a harder job than Boone Myers this year <coughs> because he hasn't been 100%. Uh, and he's gone from being the alpha, right, to not being able to do some of the things he's used to being able to do. Physically can't do it. And, and I can't say enough. I told him this the other day. I said, you know, unfortunately, we live in a world, right, and, and the kids are in this world too, where they're going to judge themselves based on how they're performing on the field. And that's probably because that's how we've told them it's going to be judged for a long time. But you got a guy now that physically can't do some of the things that he used to be able to do. That, that's a really hard position to be in. And I can't say enough about how he's responded to that. And instead of being bitter, right, or angry, or sulking, or doing any of those things, the first thing he did was put his arm around a guy like, like Allery Jackson, right, or last week a guy like Tristan Wurst and help them get ready to play. And I think that's really difficult to do. I think it's really hard to do. And I hope someday, I hope in, in 20 years, that my son, whatever he's doing, can be the kind of team member, right, or, or community guy that Boone Myers has been for us. I really hope he can be, because to me that says a lot more about him than anything he's ever done on the field performance-wise. Uh, same thing for Ike coming off the injury. It's disappointing, but he's helped some of those young guys come along. I hope we can keep this group intact. If we can, then I do think we have a chance to build a little bit of cohesiveness and chemistry. Um, but more than anything, I think the, the onus falls on myself uh, and the coaching staff. We need to find a way to put guys in the positions that, that they can be successful in. Uh, and whatever that is week to week, and things change, and everybody has injuries. We're not the only people that have injuries. Uh, we need to find a better way to manage what we have and, and squeeze some, something out of it. Because if we don't get to burning the ball, if we don't get to being a little bit more efficient on first and second down, I don't think we can reasonably expect to be successful as an offensive unit. Uh, and then if we're not, then boy, we're putting a lot of pressure on the defense and special teams. So we need to get back to controlling the football. We need to get back to running it. Uh, we'd like to keep this group intact, but, but most importantly, I think I need to do a better job uh, of getting us, getting us going downhill a little bit. Can you talk a little bit about uh, 